Okay, yeah. what's next? Car karaoke. So what's next? Let's find yeah. your favorite song. Or, uh, ACDC, no. back in, what is it, back no, in black? No, we're not doing that No, all. let's do it. I am not doing that. I totally don't even sing that song. I'll sing I just, it. I gotta fix my hair. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Are we ready? We are ready. Welcome to our first chamber chat. Our chamber chat is like a video podcast series where we are going to be coming behind the scenes of our chamber members to learn not just about the business, but to be in the business. And today yeah. I get to be with Paul DeYarman. Great. At DR Happy to be here. Thank you. Woo! Happy for the opportunity. So we're excited. Yeah, I am going to yeah. learn all about uh, being a car salesman. Car salesman, yes. And also just, we're going to have some fun. We're going to be talking about uh, off-the-cuff stuff. We're going to have a speed round. Um, we might even do oh. some car karaoke. <laughs> oh, boy, yeah. <laughs> Not part of the normal job description, but, you know, it's a it's going to be a fun day. So so I am yeah. in one of the coolest vehicles I think I've ever been this in. It's kind of the latest and greatest here. So. Okay, so tell me about what we're this in. This is the F-150 Lightning, which is an all-electric pickup. First all-electric pickup on the market. Uh, this is the Lariat trim, so it's got a real, lot of really nice stuff that we'll show. Um, it... Uh, it's got a lot of it's got a lot of power, a lot of fun, 300 miles of range, so plenty of range to get about your daily activities, and we're gonna see what it's all about. Awesome. So, yeah. So I'm gonna start her up. Yep. Is that the right button? Right there. <laughs> you start it up. That's it. Leave no it up noise, to... no anything. You can't even hear it. So no, we're gonna what? open up the sunroof too, kind of help with our lighting. A oh bit, yeah. So, yeah. Oh my gosh. This is the quietest pickup I've ever experienced in my now, entire part life. Of, part of me at car sales is making sure the customer's got their seat and everything correct. So, okay. How do you feel? I feel pretty good. We don't really want to have any accidents. In I this know. Pickup. I need it's, to make. I need to make sure that I can yeah. get the ten in two. Yeah. Right. Correctly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm good to go. Want to be safe. How about your steering wheel? How's that feel? It's amazing. All right. Let's yeah, go. Yeah. I think I'm ready to roll. So. I can't believe that I can't hear it. Take a left. This is awesome. Okay, we're gonna roll. So one thing you're gonna notice right away is uh, one pedal driving. It's kind of weird. What? So as soon as you let your foot off the gas, it breaks. So okay. Part of a electric car's deals when they regenerate electricity when you're basically stopping or decelerating. Got it. So you kind of have to get foot magic. Yeah. Uh, how, how many times have you gotten? Bless me. How many times have you gotten ill driving with someone who oh, couldn't boy. figure yeah, out the foot pedal? Oh boy, there's some pretty wild stories. Yeah, well, <laughs> some people like to turn it off. Go ahead and take a left out here. So some people like to turn it off, but really it's the way to drive it is keep it on. So Okay, so I've specifically asked yep. to be able to drive in an uh, electric vehicle today. Yes. Because it's the way of the future. It really so, is, yep. So they're not doing away with gas engines, so we'll still sell... We'll still sell both for a very long time, but um, most car manufacturers in the next 10 years, about half their fleets will be electric. So we're in, we're gonna sell both. So at DR and Ford, we're long-term committed and we've told our salespeople that, and so they gotta be prepared to sell both, so. And that's not just like DeYarman, that's like the auto industry is saying, hey, this is a yep, direction we have to right. go, right? Yeah, most manufacturers are, yep. So what, I keep- Step on it, I tell customers to step on it a little bit, you feel. Electric, electric's got a little power so yeah they have a lot of oh power. my gosh yeah we're flying hopefully i was just in a yeah, in a meeting that. with the pd yeah, hopefully, hopefully, they don't hopefully the police me. department doesn't watch this one so <laughs> <laughs> we love our men and women in uniforms so. exactly yeah. <laughs> a little bit more on this um electric vehicle yeah discussion because i know here in indianola we're we're having to talk about how do we prepare yeah for the evs of the future yep what what are what are you predicting and seeing? I know that you have um, EV chargers in front of Diarmid. Well, we've got yeah. So there's really there's level twos, which are what you most see most of the area. That'll charge your car 20 to 30 miles of range an hour. So not super practical as far as a uh, if you're gonna be there longer, like throughout the day, that's fine. Then you'll have level three chargers, which we should have two by the end of the year. Um, those charge your car. Oh boy, hundred and. 50 to 200 miles of range an hour or more uh, okay. they're, but they're also a lot more expensive so yeah. and they're they're direct current so they're they're big chargers so what i see in the future though is kind of both you know you'll have some people that ma major manufacturers sell internal combustion engines for a long time and some manufacturers are going all electric um 
again with Ford, they're they're going to do both. So we're in great shape. Yeah. So and we're going to be Model E Elite. So we'll be the top tier electric dealer for Ford. Some won't do it at all. Some will be a lower tier. We're going to be the top tier. Sweet. But we'll also have a lot of cool gas stuff too. So awesome. yeah. So so you know we're getting ready to roll out this big tourism initiative yeah. here in a month and a half and. Um, you know, this has been a topic at yeah. the tourism uh, like events that I've been going to is how do you how do you prepare for the visitor yeah. that's coming with the EV vehicle? Yeah. Like, do you think that's something as a community we need to be really planning ahead? Oh yeah, yeah. If you want to attract, you know, definitely tourism from a larger metro area where EVs are a lot more common versus a rural area, uh, you got to have the infrastructure. So you yeah. gotta have the charging infrastructure. They're gonna need to be able to charge their cars, whether it's at a gas station, whether it's at chargers around town. And obviously if you've got the infrastructure around your tourist attractions, they're gonna be more apt to visit those because what a lot of times happens is there are either wait times or charging times are longer, they're looking for something to do. Yeah. It's a perfect opportunity for the EV owner to explore the local communities, you know, seeing everything while they're charging their car. So That's get awesome. out, especially on a nice day, walk the square, go to local businesses. There's an opportunity. Yeah. No doubt. So, so yeah. tell me a little bit about your family and how Mine, they yeah. got started in the car deal. In the car business. business. Well, yeah. dad's been in the business my whole life. Um, and so I, I, it was my first job ever. When I was 13, oh, sure. I started washing cars. So, yeah. yeah. Detailing Mom was tired everything. of me hanging out on Saturday. Detailing cars. I yeah, just so, got my car detailed. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's like, it's, it's, it's honestly a great like feeling. going on yeah. vacation. Yeah, it could be therapeutic, like. no doubt. Yeah. So, um, but anyway, dad was in the business my whole life. Uh, and long story short, we were both with the, some of you remember Schottenkirk. We were both with Schottenkirk for a long time. Then about two and a half years ago, September of 20, we decided to go out and make our own way. Yeah. So we sold the other, dad sold the other part of the dealership in Waukee. And then we moved down here and bought the whole thing from Schottenkirk, September of 20. And then I started selling Fords that day. So, and been in the business for a long time and really enjoy being part of the community. Uh, love Indianola. Feel like it's a great potential, great customers, good people. Yeah. And we, we have, you know, we've done the major expansion recently, but we have plans to even grow more and um, we're looking forward to it for sure. So, so I mean, you bring up a really good question. You, you guys could have planted roots, you know, yeah. anywhere. You could have yeah. purchased dealerships anywhere. Yep. Yep. Like what attracted you to Indianola when you guys were making this Yeah, decision? I think a couple things, you know, um, Ford as the brand is, you know, there's opportunity for Ford in the Des Moines market. Um, some of the other brands have larger presence than Ford does, so that was part of it. And then, you know, Indianola was a large, a larger community than a lot of people realize with more economic resources than a lot of people realize. And we felt like, you know, nothing against anybody else, but it was still a little bit underserved from a car dealership perspective. Yeah. Um, so we felt like there was an opportunity there to grow a business in town and offer the, the town and the surrounding rural communities and even the metro still um, opportunities just for a great place to do business with. So, yeah. yeah. Well, we're happy yeah, we're to excited. have you Thank here. You. Yeah, we're excited. The investment, so. investment that you've made. Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to do a speed round? Oh, yep. Fire away. Okay, I got to come up with some questions. Yeah. Okay. We're not going to speed during our speeding round, are we? Uh, Isn't uh, that what the okay. speed round well, is? Let's go! go. <laughs> don't tell the Warren County Sheriff. We, we don't have the, 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 the speedometer. <laughs> you wouldn't want to see that right now. This thing, so, like, really goes. Yeah, they're very, they're very quick. I, so. would ha I would have an issue getting a ticket <laughs> in this, no doubt, because... It's awesome. Yeah. I've never had a pickup. Yeah. I think it's like, Yeah. I might be in the market. Oh yeah. <laughs> we can help with that for sure. So yes, that's, that's one thing we do do. So, and we like to show it off. You know, we've, we've had it to many different community events. We've had, you know, we do a lot of test drives with it. We like to expose it, um, different, you know, people need it. You know, we, we offer it up to where we like to expose the stuff. Yeah. There's a lot of, there's a lot of questions around electric, you know, electric vehicles still, and there's some practicality. So, you know, we, we try to be a resource for everybody. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. So let's do a real speed question round. Okay. You got to turn, Here's gonna flip be... a Yui up here before okay. we do this at all. All right. Yeah. yeah. Let's flip a Yui and then we're going to speed, yeah. we're going to speed round on the way back. We've taken the extended test drive route right now. So, so you guys, you guys do Yui's. So we do where it, where it's not illegal necessarily. So you try to focus on a left turning okay. lane and 
going to turn left. So, how so no, we don't. Actually. How many times do you uh, take your pe people mudding in this puppy? Oh, boy, yeah. Because we've, we've today few, is a prime yeah, day. Today would be a good day. I've had a few salespeople do that. Um, they, they are no longer salespeople with us. So, <laughs> um, I've been fortunate enough where it's not really an issue anymore. So we like to let the customers do the mudding once they buy the vehicle. Yeah. We encourage it. So Well, yeah. I know the gravel roads yeah. where we could go do it. Oh, boy. <laughs> Speaking of details, I, I, so. I live on one. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. Speed round. I'm going to ask you the questions that fly in my head. Okay. Hopefully they fly quickly. Hopefully they'll fly then, out of my head. And just then you quickly, have so. to quickly fly out your Family answer. Family friendly versions. Just keep that in mind. Of all course. Right? So all audiences. This okay, is Amanda. a chamber. No, it's a this chamber is a chamber chat. Event. Yeah. Yeah, we do all all things PG, maybe sometimes 13. Okay, all right. Okay. We'll see how so, this goes. Okay, here we go. It's 1036. Um, yeah, Start my time, us. Here. time us. Time us. All right. Let's, we're going to go for 30 seconds. Okay, Because I don't think I can come up with one. <laughs> <laughs> Fire away. Favorite song to just completely belt out when you're driving down the road? Oh, my goodness. Um... Uh, ACDC, Back in Black. Ooh, that's a good one. Yep. Uh, grossest thing anybody's ever done on a test drive? Pick their nose and flick it. <laughs> I thought you were going to say <laughs> fart. No. <laughs> Way that, worse than that. Has that happened? So, oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Anyone so, ever throw up? Um, they've thrown up in cars we've had to clean up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, uh, anyone got a speeding ticket while you were on a test absolutely. drive? Absolutely. How many times? Uh, probably two or three. Anyone ever drive drunk? Uh, I really hope not. No, whenever <laughs> we feel that way, we just nicely drive for them. Okay. So, Have you ever wanted to not sell a car because you disliked the person so much? Absolutely. <laughs> Have you not <laughs> sold the car? <laughs> uh, we try and do, we try to service all possible customers no matter how difficult they are. So we just might have had to set the ground rules a little bit with a few people. We all want to be professionals. So. Okay. Funniest moment of doing a test drive? Funniest woman to do in a test drive. Um, oh boy, speed round here. Here we go, here we go. Uh, probably um, really, really fast cars with old men. Making them drive it fast. <laughs> and them getting really, really excited. So like, I like they're, how like you they're said, teenagers again. So, I like how you yeah. said old men and yeah. not old ladies. Old ladies, Smooth old men, move. yeah. Old people. So <laughs> older folks. So the yeah, like uh, selling a Corvette to an older guy, hasn't driven one forever, making him stomp on the gas and he just freak out. And, or honestly, some of these electric vehicles. Yeah. Making people really get on them and just having a lot of fun. So Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Favorite customer you've ever had? And so why? I can't say any of my family because Don't say their name. they're all in the, they're Don't all say in their the name, business. But so. why? Yeah, Favorite why? customer ever. The one that doesn't negotiate at all. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you got the wrong girl in your pickup <laughs> right, right now. Right. Um <laughs> No, I would say probably my favorite customers are the ones that you know are are personable that we can that have rapport uh, that you can you can relate to and you have fun during the process. Maybe negotiate in a lighthearted way. Um, I know that's a really canned response. So we got some really cool people: athletes, um, celebrities. You know, there's a, they're, they're oh fun. yeah, who's yeah, the most so. famous person you've sold a car to? Uh, I sold a car. We sold a car to like Chad Greenway. Uh, from the Vikings, we sold him a car. Uh, we sold cars to um, like the guy that owns Meekum Auto Auction. We sold him a car before. Um, do business with some pretty big time local business owners. Don't really want to name their name. Maybe, uh, maybe yeah, the president so. of the chamber. President of the chamber. <laughs> She's kind of a big deal if you don't know her. So, um, but yeah. Gonna be palling around in a lightning pickup yes, truck. Love it. You know, I just I have to tell you that I don't feel like it's enormous. Even though it looked it looked looks big, I don't I don't feel big because it's got the big battery underneath it. They do it a lot different than your traditional trucks. So yes. Yeah. It's, it's built still like on a truck frame, but it's handles more like a car. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Last speed round question. All right. Um I gotta think of it. I had it and then it escaped from my brain. Yeah. Um Speed round me. Speed round you. Yeah. Okay. Got a question for me? Um, boy, I wasn't prepared for speed round. <laughs> it's okay. Um, we don't have to do it. 
least favorite Indian all of business. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyone not a chamber member? No, They're I'm all kidding. Great, so love them. Yeah, anyone not a chamber <laughs> member? No, they're all great. Um, how about favorite, uh, like a top two or three favorite places to eat in Indianola? Oh, now you're going to get me in trouble. I know. Because then I'll leave someone out. Well, then you can't you know, ask chamber. We can't. You can't ask chamber, ask chamber, chamber presidents okay. like that. Ooh, all okay. all the chamber okay. food businesses are my favorite. Yeah, all of them are your favorite. Yes. So. Um, let's see. Yeah, so, I do have yeah. a, uh, a fact, um, a little trivia fact for you, though. Okay. I was a windshield repair person when oh I was gosh. 16 and 17 years old. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that is not something I was, uh, that I would, right? that I would guess. My all, dad so. had a little business because he started it up because my grandpa did that in his um, retirement days. And so I would go around to the car dealerships and also the school bus barns and I would yeah. repair all the windshield nicks. Oh my gosh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Good knowledge. That Let's was. Let's head into town. Town can get real fun in one of these EVs. Awesome. Sound can start all the time. So. That was one of my first big um, experiences of getting a commission check. Oh. And yeah. isn't that? That's the a fun lot of, part yeah, about that's being a That's part of the fun part. Yeah. So, <laughs> taking care of customers is the the most fun, and you know, getting paid for it. Heck, it's even you know sometimes you just think it's the greatest thing in the world. So. Yeah. Yeah. So your, uh, what is it about your, cause I think that people in the business world can learn a lot from the successful people in your world. Mm -hmm. What would you say are the, the qualities and the characteristics that you're like top performers have? What do they oh, yeah. do for sales? That stands yeah. Out? So, yeah. um, probably the biggest thing would be, you know, work hard at growing their personal network. So there's always going to be opportunities in front of you, whether they're from the internet, whether they're from phone calls, but, you know, to go above and beyond and really exceed, you know, succeed amongst your peers, it takes prospecting your own business, yeah. you know, growing that, growing that business network to where you're getting referrals, similar to really any business, you know, uh, and then doing an exceptional job when given those opportunities, you know, really not just being another salesperson who does, who seems indifferent, but really going above and beyond to build rapport, to, to take a personal interest in that person's, you know, personal life too. Yeah. Uh, whether it's their, their family or their teams or their occupation or whatever motivates them. Um, and be a genuine, you know, it's yeah. one thing just to, to talk about those things with somebody to just to try to sell them a car and make money on them. But yep. it's something else. The most successful I've seen were actually, you're talking about knowing the kids' birthdays and, you know, celebrating the customer successes and building. Some of them become great friends with their customers, yeah. you know, and not maybe they met during a car deal, but then their relationship far exceeds that. So, yep. and then of course you got to be a professional. You got to really know your product well. You got to work hard to find the person or the right deal. Um, you've got to make sure, and then earn their trust, really. You know, you yeah. got to earn, and that's really our whole business model is, you know, our core values are hard work, integrity, um, trust, and character, basically. So, yep. Those are our core values, and we feel like we got to earn someone's trust where we earn their business. And that's where we try to go above and beyond and do a better job of that than our competitors. So, and I think that applies to really, you know, any business. Mm -hmm. Um, I always, uh, in, in my sales career, when I used to do a lot of sales training, I always had people ask themselves the, so what question, mm -hmm. you know, if you're having a conversation with someone and you're wanting to market what it is that you, you offer, if your client can say back to you, so what, then you're not doing your job oh, in identifying yeah. what really matters to them. Yeah. And so the questions that you know, you were asking me in the beginning and the, and the best salespeople I've worked with yeah. asked me a lot of questions to understand what yeah. it is that I want. And I think business owners, um, salespeople, really any business in general, retail, whatnot, if they could keep in, in mind that it's the customer's interest that's number one uh -huh. and what it is you want to unload, yep. it comes secondary. Yep. Absolutely. Um, and that's really it. You know, I mean, we've, we try to provide a lot of great facility, great products, great everything, you know, to take better care of our customers. So, yeah. Yep. So how much fuel do we have left? Uh, well, right now with our range, we've used, we've used some range, a little bit more range than anticipated with a little bit more of the aggressive highway driving. <laughs> um, <laughs> and that's with any EV, when you get them out on the highway, they get drained a little bit. But then now what we're in town, 
Uh, anytime we're stopping and going, it's using we're it and recharging it. So okay. you can drive around town for a very long time in this thing. Let's scoop the uh, loop. Yeah, let's do it. So you know, I, I've never asked my husband. Truck. My husband's a townie, but I've never asked him if they scooped the loop back I'm in high sure. school. Yeah. We did. Yeah. Where'd you grow up? We grew up in Mount Pleasant, Iowa. Okay, I was up the, corner. I was so. up the road in Iowa City. Yep, exactly. Did you ever scoop the loop in yeah, Iowa absolutely. City? Absolutely. <laughs> so, <laughs> absolutely. So we were. St I'm still old enough where that's a thing. Now I don't know if, you know, modern days. I don't know if they still scoop loops anymore. Yeah. Uh, they probably more hangouts online. Exactly. And stuff like that. So they they scoop their date, Snapchat loop. Dating myself loop. a little bit. Yeah, their Snapchat loop. So. <laughs> uh, dating myself a little bit there. So. Uh, trivia fact for you, Mr. Mount Pleasant. Oh boy. I've been in prison in Mount Pleasant before. Uh, hopefully not incarcerated, but rather visiting the prison. Or, I, I yeah. used to work in, in, in the security, integrated security world. Okay. And, uh, the prisons were my customers. Okay. So I was in, Mount, I was in Mount Pleasant a lot. Yes. But it was the very first one that I was ever in. So there you go, folks. Our chamber president has been in prison. I'm and actually... to tell about I'm it, going so. in a couple weeks and um, going in actually giving a presentation to 100 lifers at Mitchellville Women's Prison. Wow. Yeah. So I'm still going oh to prison. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Goes to prison voluntarily. As long as yes. they let you out, right? You might not exactly. want to show video of our driving here. They might not let you out. So yeah. there could be some problems there. So <laughs> what's you know, your, we're, we're what's not a, no admissions of guilt there. I'm just saying it's a little, little suspect here today. I'm kind of I'm holding on for dear life here. So, do you need to stop at any of these fine oh, stores wow. and buy your wife a gift? Yeah, outstanding, you know. Um, she would probably say yes. Um, you know, I'm sure she would take something nice from any of these local, fine local establishments. So, well, and we have we have um, tiny tots to teens and adorn. Oh, Both man. sell baby stuff because oh. you're you got a new we little one a at new home. Little one, yeah got a nine-year-old a five-year-old and a four-month-old so and i think that roots might have some baby stuff too she's definitely talked about coming down to those places so they have nice several of them do a nice job online and that's how you market to women the women of my life at least my my wife Probably yeah my five-year-old too she seems stuff online now too so but uh yeah no several of them do a very nice job exactly yep are you ready for car karaoke yet oh boy <laughs> or if my singing voice is warmed up this Do you want to know morning, my so. my uh, my staple karaoke song? Yeah, I would love to. It's Sweet Child of Mine by oh, Guns yeah. N' Roses. Oh my! It's an I, Axl Rose. But I can't do it in a car because it requires me dancing like Axl. And, and probably a few other things versus just, you know, not yeah. being in a car probably requires a few different, you know. Yeah, some, I dance like liquid, him. I need liquid a, courage a little bit. I need so. the handkerchief. Oh boy. I can channel him pretty good with the long blonde hair. Um, but yeah, everybody tells me it'll play at my funeral because it's kind of my, it's my staple. Oh man. That's awesome. In fact, I've channeled I, him yeah. on the Indianola Square a couple times. I, I feel like, you know, as, as in general, you'd be a pretty successful car salesman. You're willing to kind of put yourself out there. If we're talking about doing Axl Rose. Are you making and me so, a job offer um, right now? I'm absolutely, but I would not want to take away from the community. So I feel like you're better served as the president, but always welcome at Dearman Ford. No yeah, doubt a question. And I so, don't think I could handle booger flip flickers. Yeah, I mean, you know, we don't want to get me. too far into the weeds on test drive, you know, antics, <laughs> but there, there's plenty of stories to go around. So, yeah, test drive antics and customer antics, a little bit of everything. So, I, I can yeah. only imagine. Yeah. Okay, so your your advice to the chamber world on what Ooh. they can learn Ooh. from a car dealer. Ooh. What's a, what's the number one thing that you guys um, believe in that you think is a philosophy that other people could benefit from, i.e. customer loyalty, something like that? Yeah. I would say the thing that guides us the most is, like I said, our core values before. Mm -hmm. um, and work hard and be a person of integrity that works hard is all I would say. Yeah. I don't think you need to be, I don't think, you know, my dad was a farmer before he got in the car business. And so yeah. and got in the car business broke and never and came from zero. Yeah. And now owns multiple car, new car franchises, which is actually with factory approval, is something that's pretty difficult to do. And he'll tell you, you know, he's a self-proclaimed farm boy from Iowa. Yeah. It's him. So, um, and that's what he did his whole life was a farmer and 
farming's a wonderful profession. He got out of it when the 80s got really tough and a lot of farmers will remember that. But um, he just says, he, he said he might not be the smartest guy in the world, but he just outworked everybody. So work hard, be a person of integrity. Yeah. And I think a lot of thing, positive things can follow from that. So. I, I love a, a rags to riches story. Yeah. And I think we have, we have such an abundance of, yeah. of hardworking, good ideas in this community. And uh, I'm looking forward to having people like you engaged in helping us put together some programs at the chamber that can help foster that entrepreneurial oh, spirit yeah, yeah, yeah. and get people to believe in, in chasing that dream. Before right. I was doing this, right. I was coaching people and right. helping them kind of discover that inner dream and mm -hmm. go for it. And I think we, the, we're going to be doing this invest in you series, um, probably rolling out in the August timeframe. And Wonderful. that's going to be helping people discover that dream, that passion, that purpose that they want to pursue. Yeah. And what's it going to take to get there? You know? Yeah. Find something you love to do that, you know, you can make a little income at. And a lot of times the money will, will follow appropriately. You know, don't get into something just because it's a money thing. Get these into something not, because these people are not following the rules. Yeah. Technically, I think you're supposed to just kind of barge through yeah, there, but I appreciate you. I appreciate your, uh, no, no, don't. Yeah. I appreciate your willingness to, to preserve the quality of the vehicle for the <laughs> eventual owner of this truck. So, um, you know, we appreciate that. So, but yeah, find something you love to do that you can, you know, maybe support your family with, you know, we'll definitely support your family, but find something you love to do and do it well, you yeah. know, and I think the chamber is a wonderful partner in that and that they can take a great idea or a great, you know, a great thing and give it some serious momentum with the resources they offer. Um, How's Which this is, for a parking job? That's wonderful. Just keep just keep going there. Yeah, we're gonna have so, to three point turn. See, now, this. No, but we've got the three sixty oh, cameras. Oh, here, we so, have that's yeah. a fancy camera. I'm telling you, she's gonna Well I need it that you're gonna walk away my, with this one here eventually. My lack of uh pickup driving failed me. I used to have a, a big vehicle, but you know pretty well. Yeah, there we go. We made it. Well this has been only a couple tickets and you know, yeah. a couple yeah. Don't <laughs> And we got charged left, so we're yeah. good to go. We're good to go. We so, are. Yeah. Well, this has been awesome yeah. learning about uh, more about you, more about this awesome business that you guys have built here. Um, this amazing lightning uh, pickup yeah. truck, yeah. which is I'm in love yeah. with it, and also having some fun. So yeah, appreciate it. Um, if you're interested in hosting a chamber chat at some point in time, reach out to the chamber. We're all about coming into your business and learning not just about it, but about you and um, playing a day in the life. So yep. we'll see you soon at our next Chamber Chat. Sounds great. Thanks. Yep.